In Clayton County, another school is now temporarily going virtual amid the rise in COVID-19 cases among staff and students. CBS 46's Tori Cooper is live from Kendrick Elementary School with more on how the school is now pivoting to digital learning. Tori. Yeah, Ashley, come tomorrow, Kendrick Middle School students will not be here on campus tomorrow because they are going back to virtual instruction. Now, this comes as the district says the latest data shows that 113 students, along with 43 staff members, all tested positive for COVID-19 just since the start of the school year. The parent I spoke to tonight says this is definitely the best option for her student. They just said some of the kids tested positive for uh, COVID, so... Clayton County School District parents we spoke to who did not want to go on camera or share their names say they received a notice from the district that COVID-19 cases were rising at Kendrick Middle School and for the next two weeks all students would return to virtual instruction. For one parent we spoke to this was their child's first year and first experience at Kendrick Middle School. Yeah three days later he went for the first two three days of school and they sent the, um, the notice home and then he started complaining about having a fever, but other than that, I took him to the doctor. He didn't have COVID or anything like that. But this is not the only district dealing with an overwhelming number of COVID-19 problems. The latest data from Fulton County shows district wide. Nearly 1000 students and staff members have been asked to quarantine in Fulton County since the start of school. Cases now quadrupling. Parents tell us despite the strain on their schedules that come along with teaching their students at home, they feel like this may be the best option for Clayton County. To me personally, it's worth it to keep them safe. It's worth it. Now back. Back here live, the district tells us this is simply a precautionary measure that they are putting in place to keep everyone safe and it will last until August 30th. We will continue to monitor any new changes in any of the districts in and around the Metro Atlanta area. Reporting live from Clayton County, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.